It's official. Sadly, the North Bay Bulldogs season is over. After starting off the campaign 2-1, and one, the Dogs lost the remaining regular season games to fall to 2-6. And, and then on Saturday, their playoff hopes were shattered, losing convincingly to the Tri-City Outlaws 42-1. to one. Before getting to the highlights, we'd like to inform you that a Kojiko North Bay News camera person was denied entrance into Centennial Stadium with a camera. Tri-City Outlaws officials told the camera operator that there was a video camera free policy within the stadium and that written approval would be required from the Outlaws. We'll have more on this later, but now right on to the highlights. It was a very wet and soggy day in Kitchener as the heavily favored 7-1, now 8-1 Outlaws proved to be much with home field advantage in quarterfinal play. The Bulldogs were dominated on all sides of the football field as Tri-City returned to Dave Wilson interceptions for touchdowns. Ian Ford also ran back a 55-yard punt return. Slippery outlaw running back John Nadel Shevek scorched the dogs once again, rushing for 197 yards and one major in the win. In a meeting earlier in the year between the two squads, Nadel Shevek tailed over 150 on the ground while scoring two TDs in a 30 to 7 outlaws win. North Bay will have to wait another year to play a game, but Tri-City is back at home this Saturday as they square off against the Toronto Mad Dogs. Quarterback Dave Wilson was responsible for the Dogs' only point with a 40-yard punt rogue. We now hear from Bulldogs we were head able coach to move the Mark ball, uh, On the ground against them, pretty good. Uh, however, uh, the ball was slippery, ball was slick, and uh, they just were able to intercept some balls uh, when we looked to pass. They ran back a couple, as well as uh, running back a punt return. So, you know, the guys did their best. Uh, we, uh, I think, we finished strong uh, at the end of the at the end of the game. Uh, it, it's always disappointing to lose, but uh, you know what? The guys gave it their best shot. They uh, they played hard, and uh, you know, Tri City knows that uh, they were in a game today. And sticking with the Bulldogs Outlaws theme, Kojiko North Bay News sent a videographer to cover Saturday's game in Kitchener. And upon entry into the stadium, Kojiko's videographer was notified by an outlaw rep that videotaping was not permitted within the confines of the facility. Yet, in the footage you're about to see, other video cameras were present at the event. Further explanation revealed that a team official did not want Kojiko to provide game footage to the Sault Ste. Marie Steelers to be used for scouting purposes. However, it's within Kojiko's policy not to dispute or sell any videos or footage filmed by the station. An outlaw official also told our videographer that written permission would be required in order to tape the quarterfinal game. We now hear comments from the Northern Football Conference. Decide whether to exclude or uh, allow media in. I mean, certainly uh, from what Tri-City told me before tonight's game, they had had a problem where last year someone taped uh, their quarterfinal and passed that along to another team. So, you know, it's really tough in terms of uh, trying to necessarily be equitable, but also these things have to be arranged beforehand. When the, uh, the media coverage is fragmented here in the south and obviously a little more intense in the Sioux and North Bay, you know, you sometimes have to, you know, do a little dancing to get what you want. Uh, quite frankly, I think it's garbage. Uh, you know, this Tri-City team, uh, uh, members of their executive are actually players and they're uh, I've been at uh, annual general meetings where they're harping and uh, really uh, aggressively uh, critical about how the league isn't doing enough to uh, uh, give it a good image and uh, provide, uh, provide uh, enough media coverage. And here we do, you know, North Bay, I think we may be the only uh, team, but there may be other teams, but I know North Bay is one of the few teams that, that uh, we build into our budget uh, bringing the media with us to give uh, coverage over the game and uh, you know for them to do that kind of thing and and uh, confront uh, our media guy and say that uh, they're not going to allow cameras at the game that's pretty cheap uh, I think it's uh, totally unsportsmanlike I don't think it's uh, becoming of a of a team that uh, really deserves to be a champion I, I just don't think it uh, it has anything to do it's wrong not much we can do about it just know that, uh, 
you know, there's uh, sometimes you can be hypocritical, and I think they were a little bit there. Kojiko has previously covered many NFC football games in other markets without any issue.